Le Pen, the far-right leader, set off the large controversy. A disrespectful breach of protocol. A refusal to wear a headscarf. When you were pictured with the Quran. Support for Islam by taking selfies in hijab. Self-proclaimed uh, first fe feminist government in the world. We're donning hijab. There have been a number of uh, controversies about the hijab uh, across the globe in recent weeks. There was the case of Lindsay Lohan being asked to remove her headscarf at Heathrow Airport. When I was flying to New York recently, I was wearing a headscarf and um, I got stopped. She opened my passport and, and saw Lindsay Lohan and started immediately apologizing, but then said, please but take off your headscarf. What scared me was, is that moment, how would another woman who doesn't feel comfortable taking off her headscarf feel. Mm. That was really interesting to me. Then you had Marine Le Pen, who uh, on a visit to Lebanon uh, was asked to wear a headscarf while in order to meet the Grand Mufti of Lebanon, and she refused to do so. <laughs> Finally, you had a female uh, government delegation from Sweden visiting Tehran in Iran, and out of respect, they chose to all wear a headscarf, and this uh, provoked quite a bit of backlash back home. Many criticized the so-called feminist delegation for covering their hair while visiting politicians in Iran. Some of the reasons for these controversies are probably because uh, the hijab has been associated with Muslim women. And in these cases, it's, it's, it's non-Muslim women who have either decided to wear it or not to wear it for whatever reasons. And I think that's a new territory for a lot of people. Here in Canada, uh, we have not been immune to the types of controversy that surround the hijab, uh, whether it has been uh, a woman being told in a Montreal courtroom that she couldn't appear before a judge until she removed the headscarf. The first question from the judge, she asked me why you are putting this scarf on your head. I told her I'm a Muslim. I will therefore not hear you if you are wearing a scarf on your head. Just as I would not allow a person to appear before me wearing a hat or sunglasses on his or her head or any other garment not suitable for a court proceeding. You still have uh, a bill um, in Quebec on the table which, you know, would, would require anyone receiving or giving public services to uncover their face, which is the niqab, not so much the hijab. There is still um, discrimination on the job. Uh, of, of women who, who do wear hijab. I think it's so important to understand that there are still too many negative connotations when it comes to women and the headscarf. When women are wearing the headscarves on our streets, in our schools, on public transit, there is still fear that they may be targeted, either discriminated against or outright physically assaulted. In a time of overwhelming stigma, I fear being othered, profiled, and killed. In a country I call my own, my identity is challenged and my actions are heavily scrutinized. I am simultaneously silenced into shame while being expected to apologize for the actions of a small group of people that do not represent me or any... We have Muslims in Canada. Uh, we're a relatively young community in, in terms of the number of years we've been in Canada. And what you're seeing is an emergence 
of a Canadian brand of Islam. For example, Little Mosque on the Prairie, created by Zarka Nawaz, who grew up here, and this is a Canadian icon. Mr. Bones, dressing up like the Taliban. <laughs> That's so topical. Taliban? And we're here from Montreal, Quebec, to ask for $90,000 in exchange for 10% of our company, Modeste. We had a Dragon's Den episode uh, a little while back of a Montreal um, a couple who are trying to start their own fashion house of like the modest design. clothing. Great, great feel, the products, nice fabric. And what do you mean by modestly? Cool. I wear a hijab, I wear the veil, so oh, you do. Okay. I dress a certain way, and I just style things that are more modern, more fashion forward. Oh. We also have this rise of Generation M, as it's been called, of you know young, modern Muslim women who want to participate fully, who want to embrace their faith identity, but also want to embrace the cultures that they live in. They want to embrace Canadian culture, um, and they're very proud to play hockey, wear the hijab um, if they choose to. I think there's a lot of negativity within the community, um, within our communities, because I would say of patriarchal structures that don't want to see women advance, like women like you or me who are in the arts or in media doing really cool things, and people don't want to see us progress, but, but we're doing it regardless, right? There is no doubt that there are women around the world who are forced to either wear a headscarf or wear uh, a face veil, and that is to be condemned. No one should be coerced to wear something they don't want to wear. But that being said, I think it's very important that we listen to you know, Canadian Muslim women's voices, we respect their right to wear, to not to wear, and simply to be.